Hey guys, what's up? Scratch Duck here once again. Collection update time. Let's get into it. Uh, not too big this week. This week. Listen to me. I'm a regular uploader. I do it all the time. I'm very consistent. Okay. Let's just... Games, right? I've tried to be good, and I think I have been good because I keep, like... I keep thinking about uh, September this year. Okay, we're in August right now. September's gonna be a busy fucking month. There's, like five or so Switch games that I want to get and a few PS4 games, it's, it's going to be an expensive month. So I'm going to kick off with um, Astral Chain uh, just at the very end of August there. So uh, my next collection update probably won't be until the very end of September. Uh, that's what I'm planning on. I don't know what sort of retro pickups I'm going to pick up in that time. But whatever, whatever. First let's talk Puyo Puyo. I have here from PSP, Puyo Puyo Fever 2. Now this is... Uh, the latest in my sort of, um, uh, I'm trying to get like all the sort of like main series games, or at least the ones that are sort of a big deal that were only released in Japan. I chose to get them on the PSP. Um, I have the uh, Puyo Puyo 7 on the PSP as well, uh, so I just kind of like chose that platform. But ever since getting that, I actually discovered that there are fan translations for Puyo Puyo 7, uh, Puyo Puyo 15th Anniversary and Puyo Puyo 20th Anniversary for the DS, and I've actually been playing a lot of them. Puyo Puyo 7 is pretty good, you know, and uh, I've dabbled in 15th Anniversary and 20th Anniversary. Still need to, like, uh, finish them, but yeah, i played a lot of Puyo. In fact, another little purchase that I made is just that this was a total fucking impulse buy. Look, I bought a figurines, I'm a fucking weep. Look at that, there's our old Holden Carbuncle. Uh, I just saw this on Amazon, it was one of the like, it's one of like two figurines of Arl that is, that Sega is um, actually selling. I'll bung her up here. Um, I'll put a picture of the other one up. The other one clearly looks like a pricey, proper sort of figurine, and it's more based off like Arl's design from the Mado era, back when Compile made the games. Uh, whereas this one's more in tune with how she looks today after Sonic Team took over development. So, that's quite nice to have, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that, and uh, yeah, still got some more Puyo games to get. Hey, anyway, it's, uh, next up we have, I got these from the same seller, and he kind of like flung it in just as a wee bonus, which is nice. I tried to get this, Final Fantasy V Advance, one of the sort of few main series Final Fantasy games that I have not played yet. And he threw this in. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Advance, is that the right name? Yes. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls. Actually, I tell a lie, I've not played Final Fantasy 1, 2 or 3, but mind you, I doubt most people have. Now, uh, funny story, I was actually uh, playing through Final Fantasy 5 on the PS1. I have the Final Fantasy Anthology for the PS1 up there. I don't know, I just was looking for an RPG and I decided that that's the one I want to play. And... I was really digging it. I was enjoying it a lot. I really like 4, Final Fantasy 4, and Final Fantasy 6 is still like my favourite one, so it was like, yeah, yeah, I can get into this. But the more I played it, I don't know, I just hit this point where I'm like, literally everybody says that this is the best version of Final Fantasy 5, and I just thought, oh, god damn, so I just like, <laughs> I just quit my like, eight or so hours that I put into it and I got this, and I don't even know when I'm going to get back to it, but when I finally do play Final Fantasy V, it's going to be this one, so joy, joy with that. Okay, uh, you know, it's funny, uh, I got four games left and just like those, they're kind of like in pairs, so yeah, let's just show them off here. I got Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles and Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, these are light gun games based on based around the events of the main series uh, Resi games. I remember picking this up brand new back when it first came out, and I don't know what it was, but it like annoyed me, and I traded it in, which I was kind of rare for me. I didn't really at that point I wasn't really trading in many games. I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna collect them, damn it. But uh, I def I traded in this one, and again, don't know why. I was just unimpressed by it. And I can't, I really can't remember why, but yeah, I picked it up again, so that's fine. And I also have the sequel, Dark Side Chronicles. Now, I'm very excited to play this one, because this is the one that has, like, um, Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica uh, in its playthrough, if I'm remembering that correctly. Uh, very keen to play through Code Veronica segment, that's for sure. 
Because that's my favourite Resident Evil game. Don't think I've ever said that on YouTube. <laughs> I say it all the time, but yeah. Awesome. And uh, the last couple of games I got here, uh, again, these were just like, you know what, like, I kind of want these, so. Mario and Sonic 2012 London and Mario and Sonic 2016 Bio. Bio, that's Shenmue's protagonist. You say Rio de Janeiro, probably just the same. Anyway, I got these now. These were the only um, console Mario and Sonic games that I had never played. Uh, I don't really play any of them extensively. I mean, I played the first one a lot when I first came out, but I think a, lo a lot of people have. And then the second one, I played that a little bit, a lot better. I think, I think the second game, you know, the 2010 Winter Olympics one, I think that one's considered to be the best one amongst people who play them. But, so I don't know if I'll pop these in necessarily, but, you know, they're here. I am sort of looking forward to the new one, though, coming out for the Switch. You know, that was kind of what spurred that purchase there. Because that one's looking quite good, quite good indeed, but we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Yeah. Anyway, hey guys, that's that. I'll see you at the uh, end of September. Yeah. Surely I'll make a video before then. Surely. Gamescom's happening. Something cool might be there. We'll see. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.